Who invented the rain gauge? Chugugi. Rain from the sky, the right amount at the right time, was an important factor in determining good or bad harvest. But how did people in ancient times measure and record this rainfall? In the Joseon era, there was a rainfall observation method called Utek. After it rained, people would dig into the ground and use a hoe or plow to measure the depth of the moist soil. However, the results varied depending on how much force was used or the condition of the ground. At the time, the amount of rainfall was generally recorded in relative terms rather than exact numbers. Yi Hyang, the crown prince of King Sejong, concerned about drought, created a copper vessel to measure rainfall. One day, yellow rain fell from the sky. People feared it as a bad omen and called it Jei. It turned out that the rainwater collected in the copper vessel was clear, while only the water that pooled on the ground appeared yellow due to pine pollen. The veritable records of King Sejong contain records of the yellow rain and crowned Prince Yi Hyung's use of a copper vessel to measure rainfall in concern over a drought. This day marks the origin of Korea's Invention Day, celebrated on May 19th in the solar calendar. Based on Moon Jung's invention, King Sejong named the cylindrical copper device Chukugi. King Sejong then established a rainfall measurement system and distributed rain gauges along with standard rulers called Jucha to government offices in Seoul and across all eight provinces. This marked the culmination of Joseon's meteorological science and technology laying the foundation for the modern rain gauges. In 1442, King Sejong established a rainfall observation network at about 350 locations across Seoul and the provinces, creating the one of world's first national rainfall observation system. How was the rainfall observation network used? Amidst the upheavals of the Japanese and the Manchu invasions of Korea, Korea's rain gauge called Chugugi virtually vanished from use. In the wake of national turmoil, the institutional system of rainfall measurement and the recording of rainfall came to a standstill. However, King Yongjo revived the rain gauge, a legacy of King Sejong and reorganized the Nationwide Precipitation Observation Network. During this period, the rain gauge pedestal of Gyeongsang Provincial Office Daegu, made in 1770, was the first case of standardizing the size of a rain gauge pedestal based on Pobekchok. It has been designated as a national treasure for its significance in supporting the records and the veritable records of King Yongjo. During the reign of King Sejong, rain gauge observation stations were established at four locations in Seoul and 346 locations across the provinces. In the reign of King Yongjo, rain gauges were installed at 10 locations, including four sites in Seoul provincial government offices of the eight provinces and regional military command posts. Additionally, approximately 352 locations in the provinces were equipped with stations using Ute, a traditional rainfall measurement method with plows and hoes. In the Sun Hua Dong halls of the provincial offices in the eight provinces and in the regional command posts, rainfall was measured using standardized rain gauges. 
in ordinary counties and prefectures. It was measured using UTEC. Records of these observations are preserved in the records and documents of government offices. The measured data were reported from local counties and prefectures through the provincial government offices to the royal palace. King Zhengzhou also personally analyzed rainfall data and incorporated the statistics into national policy, thereby continuing the rain gauge system. Chugugi, Korea's national treasure rain gauge and historical rainfall records. In 1441, Korea, during the Joseon Dynasty, became one of the first in the world to create a tool for measuring rainfall. This tradition, initiated by King Sejong, continued for over 400 years. The comprehensive report on agricultural administration from Chungcheng province between 1837 and 1877 shows that rainfall data from rain gauges was actively used in local harvest reports and decisions on tax reductions. The rain gauge installed in Gongju, where the Chungcheng Provincial Office was located during this period, is known as the rain gauge of the Chungcheng Provincial Office in Gongju. And it is the only remaining original rain gauge. It was designated a national treasure on February 27, 2020. The inscription at the center shows the dimensions, one jump and five chi in height and 7 chi in diameter. These match the measurements recorded in the veritable records of King Sejong, indicating that King Sejong's production method continued into the 19th century. Additionally, the base inscription states that local officers Tongyin, Gupchang, and Saryong were responsible for rainfall observation, demonstrating that the revived rainfall measurement system was considered important to assign specific officials to the task. In 1911, Yuji Wada, the first chief director of the Meteorological Observatory of the Japanese Government General of Korea, introduced the rain gauge to the West through the world-renowned British scientific journal, Nature. In 1915, the rain gauge of the Chungcheng Provincial Office in Gongju was taken to Japan by Yuji Wada, where it remained for about 50 years. Following discussions in 1969, it was finally returned to Korea in 1971. In 1441, during the 23rd year of King Sejong's reign, Korea developed a quantitative rain measuring device and established an observation network, rarely seen anywhere else in the world at the time. This scientific achievement was more than 200 years ahead of Western Europe. Records of systematic rainfall observation using the rain gauge across all eight provinces are preserved in the veritable records of the Joseon Dynasty and the diaries of the Royal Secretariat, both recognized by UNESCO's Memory of the World. These served as valuable meteorological data for national administration, particularly in agriculture and taxation. This systematically collected rainfall data is an unprecedented record in global meteorological history, proving that Korea was a pioneer in meteorological science. <laughs>